Hello, my name is Ben Petrie and I'm a dietetic intern with the New Hampshire Food Bank. Today, I'm gonna to show you all how to make a quick side dish, sweet potato fries. Before we get started, let's talk a little bit about knife safety. So the first aspect in knife safety is making sure you have a nice secure surface to work on. As you can see, I have a nice heavy cutting board to work on, but even it slides around and makes it, makes it hard to cut sometimes. So I always try to put a wet paper towel or a grip sheet underneath so it doesn't slide around while I'm trying to cut. Next is knowing how to hold the knife properly. This part of the knife here is called the bolster. And this is sort of where we wanna start our grip. So we wanna take our thumb and our index finger and pinch the blade and wrap our other fingers around. With our other hand, we wanna pretend like we're sort of holding a bubble or holding a baseball and flip it over and we call this position the claw. So in conjunction, you kinda just rock your knife while you're holding the food with the claw. And that's proper knife safety. So let's get started on our sweet potato fries. So sweet potatoes are a great, great way to make a more nutritious swap for normal potatoes. Sweet potatoes contain lots of vitamin A, vitamin C, fiber, and potassium. So before we get started cutting, you can get your oven preheated to about 450 degrees Fahrenheit. So today I'm using a sweet potato with the skin on. And I have properly washed this, I've scrubbed it and dried it off with a paper towel. So as I mentioned earlier, we need to have a nice secure surface to work on. As you can see, this sweet potato is round and it's hard to kind of manage and it might slip around when you're cutting and that's a really easy way to cut yourself. So what I like to do is, is find a really rolly side like this one and just make a little sliver off the top and now I have that sweet potato is nice and secure. So in order to cut these into fries, we want to kind of grab our claw, grab our knife and our proper grip and cut this sweet potato right in half. Sometimes you gotta give these sweet potatoes a little two hand because they're very tough. All right, and now, now that we cut it in half, we have nice two secure surfaces to work on. And I like to kind of square these potatoes up a little bit. It makes them look a little bit more like french fries, right? And then I like to cut them in quarters. And sometimes you gotta get two hands in there. And then I like to cut them just into to about half an inch thick kind of wedges. And there we go. I'm gonna continue this with the rest of the sweet potatoes and be right back. Now that the sweet potatoes are cut evenly into nice about half inch thick strips, we can give them some seasoning before we put them in the oven. So what I like to do first is coat them in a little bit of canola oil or olive oil, whatever you have works best, that's about one tablespoon. And I like to give them a toss because that'll sort of make them sticky for when we add the seasonings on. And for seasonings, you can season these with whatever you like, whatever you think is the best seasoning for you. I have a little bit of salt, pepper, and paprika here. I'm gonna sprinkle that right over the top, and I'm gonna give them one more toss, and so they're nice and coated in that seasoning to give them some good flavor. All right, and then once they're tossed to your liking, you can spread them out evenly on a uh, nonstick sprayed cooking sheet. So maybe not all of them will fit on here, but most of them probably will. You can do this in batches, or you could make half the recipe even. Depends, all depends on what works for you and your family. All right, so now that I got these on the cooking sheet, I'm gonna go ahead and bake them off for about, about 15 minutes, and then flip them over in 15 minutes, and they'll be good to go. Cool. All right, so after your fries have cooked for about 30 minutes, you can take them off your sheet and throw them on a plate. I like about three or four or five, six fries. And I have them served here with a little bit of barbecue sauce. I like to top them with a little parsley. And you're good to go. Have a great day.